Boogaroo is a scripted studio, or I'm oh, sorry, it's a pure play studio, which is um, financing, producing, and overseeing uh, about 11 projects a year. And we are exclusively distributing our projects online. So for various platforms like Hulu, Netflix, AOL, Yahoo, International, we have a big deal with Fremantle, and so we put our pro they sell all of our projects internationally to about 47 different countries. It, it works both ways. I mean, they need, they need original content that, and they want it to be of good quality, and we need distributors. So it's a two-way street. We have an overall deal with AOL. We have an, AOL, an overall deal with Yahoo. Um, we have worked out a number of projects now, three different ones with Hulu, and we're constantly talking to all of the distributors about finding projects, whether it be one project or a, a package or a number of projects. So it works both ways. I, I think no, and I, that might be controversial to some people, but I actually think the best content, you shouldn't be aware of where it's airing. You should just be completely immersed in it. And most of our projects are 90 minutes long, and then we call, they've got chapters in them. So they're, the chapters come every eight to 10 minutes. Sometimes they're 22 minutes, which is a traditional television half hour in America that we, we could do our projects for Hulu in that regard, but AOL and Yahoo, they're, they're shorter. They're about eight minutes. And you could sit down and you could watch the whole thing as a movie, and you could watch all the chapters together, or you could watch them individually. The writers, especially the ones from television, get concerned because they wonder about these chapters. And we don't call them episodes for a reason because if we called them episodes, they would go, oh my God, I need to have a cliffhanger. I need a, a specific you know, device to keep people watching. And actually, you do, I mean, yes, you need to keep people engaged, but normally the story should be good enough to keep people engaged, to keep going. So I really consider the chapters pauses, if you will, um, I always, my favorite analogy is if you were watching television on network television with ads and your favorite movie came on and you were watching it on TV, normally those ads come at a place that makes sense. They don't have to worry about the device. It's a case where a natural pause in the action comes. I, I think they're both want to be part of it, but there is a bit of a concern. I mean, we're an independent company, so we're able to make things very inexpensively with high quality. The problem with a Warner Brothers or another studio is, is that they need to keep you know, the, the high quality and the bigger budgets because they can't cannibalize their own businesses. Um, and a digital business might be considered different. That said, some of them are actively involved and doing well in the digital space. Paramount uh, did a project called Burning Love with Ben Stiller uh, that was on Yahoo and it got 10 million views. Warner Brothers has had a few series, H Plus, they did Mortal Kombat uh, through Machinima and through YouTube and they've done incredibly well with those shows. So, I mean, the, I will say, um, I can't speak to the actual budget of Burning Love, but the budgets of the Warner Brothers series are definitely higher than what we would do, but they look amazing, they've been very successful. Um, but they're definitely bigger, bigger projects. I really think it's going to replace cable television in essence. I think people will continue to what we call cut the cord. Um, you know, they don't want to pay as much for, I mean, cable television in America is very expensive. Um, I think with, their, with the Roku boxes and, you know, Blu-ray players and other internet connected television, you can now get, you know, a very good signal on your television on, you know, with online. Um, and I think hopefully this content, it's not to say the cable will be phased out completely, but I think it will sit alongside the HBOs and other high quality networks and it will have its own projects that will be just as good and it won't be, there won't be any difference anymore. Um, you know, the same way network and cable are able to coexist, ideally digital cable and maybe network will coexist. I think the viewing patterns will be different. I think 
you know, where people watch things will be different and when, I mean, it already is, but I think the quality of programming will be just, you know, hopefully uniform across the board. We find it we overwhelming. That, that since it's so familiar with